for watching Kel TV News Updates. If you're new in this channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Pasabog Headlines Hashtag Cancel Korea is number one trending in Philippines. How Korean people look down Filipinos. Here are the details. Ito ang entertainment news. Showbiz Ito Pasabog. Ang entertainment news. Ito ang entertainment Showbiz Pasabog. News. Showbiz Pasabog. Hashtag Cancel Korea and Hashtag Apologize to Filipinos are now trending online. Seems like we are having a world war online. It's all started after a Korean netizen noticed a Filipina TikTok star Bella Porch tattoo on her arm that resembled to a design like a rising flag of Japan. Bella Porch is a popular TikTok creator with 16 million followers in the video sharing platform and received millions of likes and views for every upload with the M to the B as the most popular one. Korean netizens received Bella's tattoo as the rising sun flag used by Japan during the World War II, which Koreans found offensive for the reason that it reminded them of the horrors of the Japanese occupation. Korean netizen then flooded the comment section of Bella's TikTok video where her tattoo was seems to lecture and criticize her. Bella later on uploaded a closer look at the tattoo in another TikTok video and apologized for not knowing the history behind the symbol. Adding that she will have her tattoo removed and educate others about it. According to Bella Porch and we quote, Hashtag green screen, here's the photo of my arm tattoo. I love Korea. I would never do anything to hurt anyone. On her comment section, she also replied to the post with, I will have the tattoo removed or do a cover up. I did not know the history behind this tattoo and I will educate others about it. Some netizen commented also and we quote, Most of y'all not even Korean. How y'all offended? Bella also released a statement in a tweet and apologized for her mistake. I am ashamed of myself for not doing my research. I sincerely apologize. I apologize to Koreans because 6 months ago, I got a tattoo of a red sun with 16 rays. At that time, I didn't know the history but when I found out, I immediately had it covered and scheduled for removal. I am ashamed of myself for not doing my research. I sincerely apologize. She also told everyone to educate themselves about the rising sun symbol and learn from her mistake. I live in Hawaii and I see a lot of people using the red rising sun symbol in clothing, cars, and jewelry. Please educate yourselves and learn more about it because it came from the terrible history. It's very offensive to a lot of people. Please learn from my mistake. While Bella had said her apology, several Korean netizens continued to lash out at her and allegedly left racial slurs that did not sit well on Filipino netizen. Y'all can attack me, I'm okay with that, but when y'all attack Philippines and make fun of them, that's when I lose my shit. Filipino netizens then clamored for anti-racism online using the hashtag, hashtag cancel Korea and hashtag apologize to Filipinos with over 200,000 generated tweets on Twitter as of writing. Some admitted that as much they are big fans of Korea's culture, K-pop and K-dramas, they'll be willing to defend the country first. Here are the some Filipino netizens are saying on the matter. The hashtag cancel Korea is currently trending on Twitter because some Korean netizen criticized a Filipina TikToker 
for her tattoo. Kay Nets pointed out how problematic and offensive the TikToker's tattoo is. Apparently, this TikToker already apologized and told that she would remove or cover the tattoo but Kay Nets didn't stop and even belittle Filipino in their comments. In response to what the Kay Nets have done, Filipinos have trended the said hashtag to defend our homeland and below are some of the tweets of our co-Filipinos. You guys, what do you think about this issue? You can badmount the entire nation based on the person's lip hop. Americans don't get called stupid in lieu of their leader's glaring mistakes, or do they? But as it happens, people tend to generalize. At least 200 Filipinos have taken to Twitter using the hashtag cancel Korea after a Filipino American influencer, Bella Porch, drew hateful comments from the South Koreans who called Pinoy's short and uneducated. Kated because she was sporting an offensive Japanese rising sun tattoo. Porch recently posted a video of her dancing on TikTok where the tattoo was spotted by some South Koreans who have said that the red sun is similar to the Nasi Swatika. While it's still widely used in Japan as symbol of luck and good fortune, the flag is also associated with the Japanese imperialism. Critics have said that the flag erases the human rights abuses committed by Japanese soldiers in the World War II in countries that they had occupied, including South Korea. As a consequence, South Korean TikTokers have slummed the 19-year-old who served in the U.S. Navy, accusing her of being ignorant of their history. They also resorted to name-calling with some saying Filipinos are poor country with non-educated people, short people. Why Porch was born in the Philippines, her family immigrated to the United States when she was 13 years old. Her TikTok profile proudly displayed the flag of the Philippines. Naturally, Pinoy's on Twitter didn't take this lying down. Making hashtag cancel Korea the top trending topic this morning, a hurt but diplomatic at Rhea Joy Valley said, We feel betrayed by you guys. Let me remind you that 112 Filipino soldiers died in action during the Korean War. The Philippines was the first Asian country to send combat troops. To your country, the 112 killed soldiers were among the 7,400 Filipinos who were deployed to the Korean Peninsula seven decades ago to defend Seoul from the North Korean invasion. Here are some of the impressions of Korean to Filipinos. According to Song Pyo Hong, studied in Korea, I'm going to be honest in this case, don't get offended. Most Korean people dislike Filipino because they are Southeast Asian and they have a stereotype towards them as poor, ugly, smelly, dirty, etc. But that is not towards Southeast Asian people. Korea dislike China and Japan also. Korean are very defensive people. They never invaded a country in the history but has been defending and losing among other countries. Due to that reason, Korean people tend to dislike any foreigners. Better nowadays but still not as much also Filipino Vietnamese are known to be abroad shipping wives. Most unattractive Koreans go to those countries to get a wife. I know it sucks and it's really wrong but this how the general stereotype is and how they think about you. I live in USA myself and have a Filipino friends and think they are great and hot. Especially females are beautiful but that's because I'm more whitewashed than a fob. According to Joseph Yun Song Wang, studied in University of British Columbia, based on my limited experience of all ages, some Koreans tend to discriminate Filipinos just by looking their skin color and their country. As we generally know, Philippines is a developing country. 
this could be one of the main reason why they took down on M. If you are very pretty handsome white and from developed country, you would never experience such things but Filipinos are more likely black and the country itself is not a very rich country. People here could treat you so badly. I was staying in the Philippines for a couple of months studying with the other korean students they pretty like becoming rude against teachers there i don't know what was really happening between them but the fact is that even though what they did to them was obviously their fault they keep arguing gathering together just one or two teacher that was very harsh very first time of working at the factory in korea i found a bunch of filipino and a boss they were always yelling to them, saying a lot swear words. The workers were sort of bad at Korean so that he didn't mind saying swear words at all. Just like he always does. Once I heard this conversation with other Korean workers, it was worse. What he said is that he wishes to kill all of them whenever they make pieces of mistake. What I put here doesn't reflect all Koreans, it's just my experience.